Welcome back to Home Theater Gurus. This is episode 36. So as my subscribers know, in December I sold my house, so we're fixing to build a new house and I've been going over the different room designs I want. And that's what we're gonna look at today, one of two that I've narrowed it down to. Before we get into that, if you're in a home theater, this is the right place for you. Go ahead and subscribe, hit that like button, hit the notification bell so you know when new videos come out. And I just wanna say right now, you need to check out the videos. Check out the video section after you watch this video. If you're having problems with your system, if something, you know, you're having trouble here in your center channel, your base isn't as smooth or it's boomy, or you just don't, you feel something's not right, stop upgrading stuff. Stop buying new speakers, stop up upgrading your subs. It's almost always setup issues. You wanna know how to get your subwoofer set up perfectly. You wanna know where the crossover knobs go. It doesn't go at 80 hertz in case you're wondering. That's a, you know, there's so much nonsense out there. So many people spreading incorrect information. Here's your place to get correct information. And the performance of your system is going to prove that you're in the right place. All right, so I sold my house in December, you know, just a few months ago, and we're getting ready to build again. So I've got it narrowed down to two. I've got a medieval theme and a space theme. The space theme is still being worked on or the rendering. But so we're gonna look at the medieval rendering here in just a minute. And a buddy of mine, Wayne Pomposa, he is extremely good at this stuff. We both do rooms, you know, with uh, room design, have customers, you know, and we'll tell them where everything needs to go. Speakers, room acoustics, all that good stuff. But Wayne and his team, they really do produce some of the best room renderings I've ever seen. His rooms look real. But anyway, so first we're gonna look at the floor plan. And uh, I'm gonna have a shop in the new one. This is where I'm gonna be shooting my videos in the future. Let's go ahead and check out the theater though. So you walk out of the garage and there's the movie room. Now this room has a 12 foot ceiling. It's gonna be nine foot in this hallway. You'll walk into here. And I like hallways in my theaters. I had it in the last room. Now, this will be my third dedicated theater. So let's real quick, let's look at the, uh, the first two. Here's my first one I built in uh, 06, 07. I think I moved in in April of 07. And I'm gonna have a room video or uh, a walkthrough on the channel of this one soon. It's right down the road from where I'm at currently. So I'm gonna go once the COVID stuff is over and, and I'll have that shown on the channel. And I already have a room walkthrough of my second home theater here it is right here now this one i had a ramp it had an incline of about one foot and brought you up to the back riser and i love the way it felt when you're walking in it just had like a movie room feel and it had lighted posters so i'm going to kind of copy that into this new room so in this new room you're going to walk in here and it's going to start rising up or ramping up and right here it's going to flatten out now it's only going to be like an eight inch you know rise so it's not going to be too steep it's going to be and it's gonna step down here and here. I'm gonna have my chairs right around here. Now this room is gonna have all triad speakers because I wanna use the things that, you know, when customers come to me and I do the room plans and ask me, what do I suggest? I wanna be using, you know, what I suggest. I've always done DIY and I love DIY. Like, you know, subwoofers, I've been building subwoofers for 20 years. I haven't owned one I didn't build for 20 years, but I'm gonna change that up a little bit because I wanna start using what I'm, when people ask me, what do you suggest? You know, I've been suggesting GSG, you know, if they're handy, GSG subwoofer flat pack kits because they have some of the best bang for your buck kits out there. And I'm gonna be using Devastators and they're gonna fit in these inset columns here. And of course my screen wall will be here and I'm gonna have in walls. Now, I mean, I'm, you don't see the flanking wall sections where the mains are gonna go, but you're, if you subscribe to this channel, you're gonna see the entire build process happen and unfold. So let's go ahead and look at the room real quick. All right, so here we are. This is looking at the entrance, and you can't really see it, but it is ramping up on the floor. Now the carpet will probably be a little bit different. You know, I'll probably get something with some gray, something like I had in my old room. Here's a picture of it. You know, a little texture. We're gonna to have to get a little closer to where, you know, into the build before I really select the carpet. And like I said, I, here I'm gonna have a lighted poster. You won't even see a door. It'll all kind of be hidden. And probably some posters here. Now this ceiling is gonna be nine feet. And then you're gonna step in here and this is going to be a 12 foot ceiling. And I mean, this is a really, really awesome room. I love this design. Now all of this, these walls, these are all gonna have DMD 
suede. It's a fake suede covering, but it's acoustic material. Measures very well, very, very little attenuation. It's going to cover everything in here. The black, that tan, the red right here, these banners. Now, of course, the banners, you see some wood. I'll probably wrap those with red all the way around. There's going to be a few changes probably, but not very many. I mean, this is an awesome, awesome room. It's going to be a 7.1.4. I guess you could call it a 2.4 because I will have those two devastators. And so I will have insane, insane output that's going to far exceed anything I'm ever going to need in this room. And there's another shot of it there. I mean, this is just going to be a beautiful room. That suede's going to have a little bit of texture that doesn't really come through in this rendering, but it's going to be awesome. And there's the back. I mean, that that is just, uh, it looks really, really nice. Now right here, I'm going to have a little drop down. This is actually structural, and it has to be there. So it's going to be 12 foot in front of it, and then it's going to drop down to about 9 feet. And I'm going to have the projector in there. And, of course, this projector is going to have lens shift. I'm not sure if I'm going to go with a JVC NX5 or 7 or maybe the Sony 695. I'm still kind of up in the air exactly which projector I'm going to choose. But uh, it's, it's going to be pretty cool. It'll be behind glass, and I'll feed you know some air into the cavity to keep it nice and cool and happy. And there's another shot of it. Now, I may not do the bottoms with this wood. I'm not really sure exactly. Like I said, there's going to be a few changes, and these are a little ornate, you know, so they won't probably, you know, well, honestly, I can't recreate that. It's not like I can go out there and whittle on a freaking tree. And, you know, that would be extremely expensive to recreate, you know, here in the United States. And this is going to be a budget theater. I know it doesn't look like it. I mean, when you look at that, you don't think a budget theater, but I'm telling you, this room is not going to be that expensive. My last room, again, here's a picture of it. This room cost me about 1900 bucks. That's for everything you see. That's all these columns. That's for all the fabric. I mean, that's everything except for not, you know, not including speakers, but, you know, and not including seats and carpet, but everything else. You know, all the paint, all the trim, everything in here, 1900 bucks. That's including the screen, the stage. A lot of this is just knowing how to do it. And, you know, again, if you subscribe, you're going to get to watch this room unfold. I did that old room right here in three weeks. And, I mean, of course, I was busting my butt for three weeks. I ate power bars. When I got off of work, I work uh, four days a week. I would work 10 hours at work. I'd come home or I would go to the job site, which was, you know, the house. I was the general contractor and I hired subs. I would work until 11 o'clock every night. And on the weekends, I'd be out there at 7 and work till 11, 12 o'clock. I mean, I put some hours into this thing in a very short period of time. Same thing's going to happen here. We're going to get it done, and we're going to get it done fast, but it's going to look awesome. So there's just a lot of tricks and stuff that a lot of people don't realize, you know, how to do it, and it's not as difficult as you may think it is. This DMD material, it has like a suede texture. It's going to look really good. They even call it, you know, you see here their castle edition or whatever. It's really going to look awesome. And then there's another shot of it. And that's really cool the way it steps up right there. It has the blue lights under it. I'll probably put those on a motion sensor as well. And you see you also have blue up here too. And that's really cool. Now that's all, you know, that right there, it's Wayne's, you know, input on there. He did that ceiling and I love that ceiling. Now, I got to give credit to the wife. A lot of this right here, you know, I can do all this stuff in my head and draw it on paper but Wayne's able to bring it to life to where you can actually see what it's going to look like and my wife actually drew this on a piece of paper and we sent it to Wayne and said you know because we were going through changes we wanted it to look like this want it to look like that it was hard to really get into someone else's mind what you want we sketched it out and that's what we got and I mean she drew it out and it looked you know this is what she drew or we kind of drew it together but I have to give her credit because she had a lot of input on that, which is pretty cool that she's able to enjoy something or appreciate it, you know, a hobby that I'm into as well. All right, guys, so just let me know what you think about it. And again, we're going to have a space uh, version, not a version of this, but a whole nother home theater, of course. And that one will be probably a week or so out once the renderings are done. And then we're going to have like a little vote, let you guys vote between the two and see which one's which one you like the most because I'm really torn. I love both of them. My wife has a favorite. I have a favorite. But when I show them to like friends and stuff, you know, it's it's back and forth. It's really a tough decision. So 
be looking for that to come out guys and i'm really really interested in this to hear what y'all think about these renderings that's going to be it for this episode don't forget to subscribe hit that notification bell so you know when the next videos come out and go ahead and like the video for some reason youtube likes it when you like a video they seem to push it a little harder so anyway subscribe like hit the notification bell check the channel out guys i will see y'all next time